Hello and welcome. Today I would like to speak with you about the link roles which exist in Polarion, what they mean and when they should be used. So let's get started. Here we can see the link roles from the Drive Pilot project and let's just go down from top to bottom. So first we have the parent link role. The parent link role is used for hierarchical structures within documents. So whenever you create a requirement below a heading or indent a requirement below another requirement, a parent link role is created automatically by Polarian. Don't ever delete that link role because it's essential for working within document. Then we have the implements link role. In a nutshell, you can say implements is always used when you need to get something done. So like a subtask for a work package or an issue to be fixed or a work package which needs to be implemented to fulfill a requirement. So whenever you have an activity that you want to assign to somebody, then the implements link role is the right link role to use. Then we have the refines link role. This is meant to be used whenever you have a description of something and you want to detail it a bit more. So typically uh, a requirement and you want to break it down into sub-requirements. In our example, we can see a software requirement which can refine a change request, system requirement, or another software requirement. The depends on link role was initially created to represent the dependencies that you can have between activities or between work packages so that you can only start one activity when the other has been finished. But in the meantime, it is also used to represent um, dependencies that you can have between issues or defects. So for example, you can only fix the first defect if the second one was fixed before or between risks and requirements. So there is a dependency of a risk in relation of a requirement. The duplicate link role is pretty self-explaining. So you will always use it when you have duplicate items in the database, and then you link the items together, you close one of the item, and you continue to work with the other item. By default, it's only allowed between the same work item types, this link role, but you may change it if you feel that it also makes sense to link other item types together. For example, I can imagine a situation in which you have a a defect and a change request which represent the same information and you want to mark them as duplicate. Then we have the follow-up activity. So this is typically related to planning. So imagine you have finished some work item but you've not finished it completely. So there is still some additional work that needs to be done. In that case you would create a follow-up link. So maybe a follow-up defect which needs to be fixed, a follow-up user story, follow-up task that needs to be done. The verifiers link role is meant to be used between test cases and requirements to describe how you're going to test a requirement, between test cases and work packages to describe how an implementation activity is to be tested, so at the end of a sprint or at the end of an iteration, and between a test case and an issue or a defect to describe how you are going to test that this defect was fixed. The assesses link role is meant to be used whenever you have a risk which can occur uh, in regards to a requirement. Then you link the risk with the assesses link role to the requirement. Triggered by, this link role is used whenever a test case fails and a defect is created. The defect is linked with a triggered by link role to the test case. Then we have the mitigates link role. This is used whenever you have an activity which is needed to mitigate a risk, to reduce a risk. So in this case, you link the activity, in this case the task, to the risk with the mitigates link role. Then we have the users link role, and to be true, I have no idea what it means. So if you have any ideas what the users link role mean, just drop me a comment. Let's see if we find out. Effects link role. Here we want to indicate that an issue or a defect affects a requirement. It has some impact 
on something. And this link role is used to describe that impact. The tracks link role is used to track a change to a requirement. The derived from link role is a Polarion internal link role, which is used whenever you create um, a derived copy from a document. So don't delete this link role because it's used internally by Polarium. Also, the branched from link role is a Polarium internal link role, which is always used when you have branched a document and you override a requirement within that document. Then a new work item is created and linked to the work item which was branched before. And then we have the relate to link role, which is a generic link that you can use whenever you want to say that there is something else uh, you want to point to, and there is no better or more meaningful link that you can use, then you just use the relate to link. Now, do we need all those links? That's a good question, and um, I don't think that you will need all the links in, in each project. So let's have a short discussion which of the links should never be deleted and which of the links may not be so essential. So, never delete the Polarian internal links, which are the parent link role, the derived from, and the branch from link role, because they are essential for Polarian to work correctly. At least you should have one link role which describes that you break down some information of your product, like the refines link, and one link role which um, represents an activity which is related to some product information. So the implements and the refines link are good candidates, I think, to be kept. And then you should have at least one generic link role that you can use for all the other cases, which is, in my point of view, the relates to link. Now, regarding all the other links, that's really open to discussion, if they make sense for you or not. But I would at least go with these minimum links if you start setting up your project. And that's all for today, folks. Sorry for not making the video a bit shorter.